Okay, like I said, keep them on a schedule. So this is the final part of the question, of the 20 part question. <laughs> so to keep them on task, adults to keep them on task is best to always have a schedule. It's not even best to have have a schedule. Have a schedule, have deadlines. Um, this is when this is due. And then if they don't meet those deadlines, you call them out on it. Don't call them out on it in front of everybody, but call them out on it. Hey, this needed to be done. This is not done. What's going on with this? Now, as far as in your personal life with an adult, you know, hey, this is, this. give them deadlines. You put deadlines in place. For my EAs out there and my managers and my project managers, you know how to do this. This is what you do. So take that part of your business world and bring it to your personal life. Have the same structure. You don't have to talk to them the same, but you have the same structure. Have the same structure of how you how things are going to run, what the schedule is, so everybody can run by it. But if you're all over the place and it's like this is over there, this is over there, that is over there, and you can't expect anyone to be on task. You know, and at the end of the day, if you've done all this, especially with the people in your personal life, if you've done all this and they still won't be on task, they're like, F you, sorry, forget you and all this stuff, you got to work around them. You, you have to, the leader is usually the one that does the most work. So you, that makes you the leader because you're the one who wants to stay on task. You're the one that wants the team to win so you are going to have to work around them or depending if it's like their stuff especially your personal stuff it's if it's their stuff and it's their project and you got to let them fail and just sit there and be like you got to practice the art of allowing you got to allow people to be who they are and it's just like you've told them you've done everything you can it got to a point with my husband that I had to just let him he going, he's, words don't teach, only life experience. So if at some point he got tired of it not working, so he was like, okay, I'm going to, uh, fine, I'll try it anyway. Granted, it took months, you know, and it took months of me trying different things and different techniques to get it to work, that to tweak for, to, to compromise with what he wanted. And I had to rein back my expectation on how fast I want stuff done because I'm like this he's like don't snap your fingers at me I'm like let's get it let's get it done you know um so I had to slow down and he had to speed up but that was a compromise that we came up with so communication and compromise sometimes you got to let 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 them fail if they don't want to do what they're supposed to do um so they can feel that Thing of failure you know after with Fred I think after like two or three times where he was late for a meeting with um Dell and stuff he knew okay we I gotta comply to the schedule and I knew that was the best time to put a schedule in place because before he wasn't gonna stick to a schedule but he sticks to the schedule now plus the schedule has him in it you can't just have the schedule for you and the kids or you and whatever you have to include them in their schedule and there has to be break time and an incentive for them so I hope that answers the question um, it was a very lengthy question it had to do in three parts so let me know what you think um, I will talk to you later like I said this was what this is how it worked for me I, I, all I can do is tell you how it worked for me so let me know how it works out for you talk to you guys soon see you tomorrow later